The Forest Ranger and the Skinwalker In the remote wilderness of the American Southwest, where the line between the natural and the supernatural blurs, there are stories that send shivers down the spine. This is the tale of Jack, a seasoned forest ranger, who encountered a horror beyond comprehension. Jack had spent over 15 years patrolling the dense forests of New Mexico. He knew every trail, every sound, and every shadow. His colleagues often joked that he had the forest in his blood. But even for Jack, the forest held secrets he had yet to uncover. One chilly evening in late October, Jack received a call about strange noises coming from a remote part of the forest. Hikers had reported hearing unsettling sounds, almost like an animal crying, but more sinister. Determined to maintain order and dismiss what he thought were exaggerated tales, Jack set out to investigate. As he ventured deeper into the woods, the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that seemed to dance with the rustling leaves. The temperature dropped and the forest grew eerily silent, save for the occasional rustle of leaves underfoot. Suddenly, Jack heard it, a faint, eerie cry that sent chills down his spine. It sounded like a mix between a human wail and an animal's call. His heart pounded as he followed the sound, moving cautiously but determinedly. Jack reached a small clearing and froze. In the center stood a figure, hunched and distorted, its back turned to him. The figure appeared to be an animal, but its limbs were unnaturally long and its movements were jerky and unnatural. As Jack took a step forward, the creature turned its head sharply, revealing a grotesque face that seemed to be a twisted blend of human and animal features. The creature's eyes glowed with a malevolent intelligence, and it let out another blood-curdling cry. Jack's instinct screamed at him to run, but his legs felt like lead. He remembered the old Navajo legends about the Skinwalker, a shapeshifter capable of taking the form of animals and humans alike often associated with dark magic and malevolence. Before he could react, the creature began to move towards him with alarming speed. Jack turned and sprinted through the forest, branches whipping against his face, his breath coming in ragged gasps. The creature's footsteps pounded behind him, impossibly fast. In his desperate flight, Jack tripped over a root and fell hard to the ground, his flashlight skittering away into the darkness. The forest was now a maze of shadows, and he could hear the creatures breathing just behind him. Scrambling to his feet, he grabbed a thick branch and swung it wildly as the creature lunged at him. The branch connected with a sickening thud, and the creature let out a shriek of pain, retreating momentarily. Jack seized the opportunity to run, not daring to look back. He stumbled upon an old hunting cabin and threw himself inside, bolting the door behind him. Inside, the cabin was dark and musty, with only the moonlight filtering through the gaps in the wooden walls. Jack's heart pounded in his chest as he listened intently. The forest outside had gone silent, but he knew the creature was still out there, watching and waiting. Hours passed and Jack didn't dare move. He heard faint scratches at the door, followed by soft, almost human whispers that sent chills down his spine. The legends had warned that skinwalkers could mimic human voices to lure their prey, and Jack knew he was not dealing with any ordinary creature. As dawn approached, the noises finally ceased. Jack cautiously stepped outside, the first light of morning casting an eerie glow over the forest. The creature was gone, but Jack knew that the memory of that night would haunt him forever. He never spoke of the encounter to anyone, knowing that few would believe him but he could never shake the feeling that the skinwalker was still out there, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to strike again. Jack's encounter with the skinwalker left him with a profound respect for the legends and a deep sense of unease that would stay with him for the rest of his days. The forest, once his sanctuary, had become a place of unspeakable terror. As he walked away from the cabin, Jack's thoughts were a whirlwind. He knew he had narrowly escaped something truly malevolent. The scratches on the door, the mimicry of voices, everything pointed to an entity that thrived on fear and manipulation. The following days were a blur. Jack struggled to sleep, haunted by nightmares of the creature and its eerie glowing eyes. He avoided the forest, focusing on the mundane tasks of his job, but the unease never left him. His colleagues noticed his change in demeanor, but attributed it to the stress of recent events. 
One afternoon, as he was preparing for another routine patrol, Jack received a call from a nearby rancher. The rancher reported strange occurrences, animals found mutilated in odd tracks near the property. Jack, though apprehensive, agreed to check it out. When Jack arrived at the ranch, the site was unsettling. The tracks around the area were unlike anything he had ever seen, elongated and twisted, leading into the dense woods. The rancher, visibly shaken, described hearing unsettling noises at night and seeing shadows moving in the forest. Jack decided to investigate further. As he ventured back into the forest, he followed the tracks, which seemed to lead him deeper into uncharted territory. The forest was eerily quiet, the usual sounds of wildlife absent. The air felt heavy, and a sense of dread settled over him. He arrived at a small hidden clearing. In the center lay a ritualistic arrangement of bones and strange symbols carved into the ground. The symbols were unfamiliar, but they had a dark, unsettling aura. Jack's heart raced as he realized the significance of what he was seeing. Evidence of dark rituals and perhaps a lair for the skinwalker. Suddenly, a distant cry pierced the silence, an unmistakable sound that sent chills down his spine. It was the same haunting cry he had heard the night of his encounter. Jack's blood ran cold as he realized that the skinwalker might still be nearby, using the clearing as a base. As he backed away cautiously, he heard the rustling of leaves and the crunch of footsteps behind him. Jack spun around, his flashlight cutting through the darkness. For a moment, he saw a fleeting shadow, a grotesque figure standing among the trees, its eyes glowing with a malevolent light. Panic surged through him as he bolted towards the exit, branches slapping against his face. The creature's pursuit was relentless, its breathing heavy and close. Jack reached the edge of the forest, stumbling out into the open. He didn't stop until he was safely back at the ranch. That night, Jack stayed at the rancher's house. As he lay awake in the guest room, he heard the distant cries and whispers through the window. The rancher reported that the strange occurrences had only intensified since Jack's visit, and the unease in the area grew palpable. The next morning, Jack returned to the forest with renewed resolve. He knew he had to find a way to confront or drive away the skinwalker. He consulted with local Native American elders, who spoke of ancient rituals and protective charms. They warned him that the skinwalker was a powerful entity, and confronting it was dangerous. With the elder's guidance, Jack returned to the forest with a bundle of sacred herbs and protective symbols. He performed the ritual at the clearing, chanting ancient incantations and placing protective talismans around the area. The air grew thick with tension as he completed the ritual, and the forest seemed to hold its breath. As he left the clearing, Jack felt a subtle shift in the atmosphere. The oppressive sense of dread seemed to lift, though he knew the skinwalker's presence might not be entirely gone. He hoped that the ritual had weakened it, at least for a while. In the weeks that followed, the strange occurrences at the ranch and in the forest diminished. Jack continued his patrols but remained vigilant, knowing that the forest held secrets beyond human understanding. His experience had changed him, leaving him with a deep respect for the supernatural and a wariness of the darkness that lurked just beyond the visible world. Jack never spoke openly about his encounter, but he kept a small talisman from the elders as a reminder of the night he faced a terror that defied explanation. The forest, once a place of routine and familiarity, had become a realm of hidden fears and ancient mysteries, a reminder that some stories were best left untold.